RP Thor Skull. Hey, I'm going to do this video today. Well, you know what? First, I'm going to explain something. I am not wearing sunglasses, okay? These are indoor-outdoor glasses that are prescription for my cataracts. How about that? You see? I could take them off, but I take a large ration of crap because I'm wearing sunglasses all the time. They do function as blue blocking glasses and they are tinted for both outdoor and indoor use so i guess you can say i have sunglasses inside but they're not sunglasses they're prescription so we're over that one right there thor wears his glasses because he's old and can't see now let's get down to business so i talked about food prep in the last few videos and i got quite a few of you asking about the food prep that I've been doing for many years now and it works really well it saves money and you get the highest quality food possible and I freeze it I don't refrigerate it a lot of food prep companies will give you refrigerated food nothing wrong with that but I have discovered over the years how to make this last I've had this particular roast beef in the freezer for up to four months no freezer burn comes out perfect just like the day it was made and frozen Thor how do you do that doesn't freezing destroy your food quality no contrary to popular belief that is not a problem the actual freezing of these fresh vegetables ice crystals within that food shatters the cell walls and allows you to access the micronutrients much easier in your body and this holds true for all the food now i'm going to show you how to heat this type of food i'm going to show you right now okay here it is potatoes roast beef under there i'm going to add some gravy now i'm going to use some canned gravy okay it's important though i have spinach here and i have baby corn so potatoes roast beef roast beef that I cooked in the crock pot and I cooked for about six hours it's important you understand that this is fresh food stripped off the cob whatever okay so you can do that put fresh onions in there and then this is going to go in the microwave but the key to this and the key to what I'm going to talk about next is that when I put this in the microwave I do not heat it at a hundred percent I heat it at 60% and usually for about 8 to 10 minutes then I check it or stir it add the gravy and then I finish it just for maybe one or two minutes at full power and then it's perfect just like the day it was made you have this and you can carry it anywhere there's a microwave and you can have very very good prepped meals that last for months in a freezer this is the way to go you save money you get healthy you don't get fat and this is just a crock pot roast super easy to do I'll show you more later now here's the real secret this particular dish is a favorite of mine I have two components here now you can do more but there's a secret to this this is a frozen fillet that's right that is a fillet right there a beef now there's a secret to doing this. You watched me cook it on the other ones. I'm going to spend some more time here. This is barbecue beans with fresh jalapenos and fresh uh, purple sweet onions on it. Good. And chunks of bacon. Now, this is the filet that I fried in the cast iron pan just to sear it. It's actually raw on the inside. There's about that much raw and then it's pink right out to the searing. It's important that I do it that way because it's the way I'm going to prep it in the microwave that makes steaks actually microwavable without any toughness and they retain all of their tenderness and moisture. The next step is to use something like asparagus, a little bit of butter on the bottom and mashed potatoes. These are garlic mashed potatoes and you lay the filet on top of it and the potatoes are slightly watery when you freeze them this is important because it keeps steam inside of the container that keeps it from getting tough it also helps cook it to that medium level that you want and then you can season it as you need to and within 12 minutes you have 
this amazing gourmet meal that you made yourself and I can make a dozen or two dozen of these within a couple hours and I've got these incredible meals for weeks and months on end. I have a 22 cubic foot freezer loaded with this stuff. A couple of Sundays of this and I've got food, breakfast, lunches and dinner, high density, high density, high nutrition food ready to go at any time. The amount of time this actually saves. Now, of course you could hire this out. You could have a company actually supply your preps if you want to do that, you can absolutely do that. I'm just giving you another alternative. I like to prepare my own food because I want to know what's in it. Period. So, I will take this. I'm going to set both of these in the microwave at 60% power. And I am going to cook these at approximately 10 minutes. And then I'm going to come back. In this particular case, on the filet, I will chop it up with boning scissors into fine chunks. Add my seasoning and then finish it with one to two minutes on high. And I will show you the meal after I do that. And I think you'll be quite impressed. See you. Okay, Thor here. And we just microwaved on lower power, medium to low power, for 10 minutes our prepped meals and our filet. Here we are, and I'll show it to you. What we have here is the filet, and I chopped it. I'll show you. I chopped it with these scissors right here, these boning scissors. And you can see how undercooked. I just basically, when I cooked it, I cooked it in a very rare uh, state. This is important. You can see the potatoes. Now I'm going to add some butter here. And I'm going to go ahead and cook this. And I'm going to cook it for two and a half minutes. And it will be absolutely exactly how I want it, as tender as can be. This is the roast beef dinner, as you can see here with the potatoes, the sliced potatoes. It is still partly frozen. At this point, I'm going to be adding some brown gravy to it. And I'll show you exactly how I do that. And I will do it, and then we're going to cook it up. And I'll show you the meal. So, here we go. Here's one of the secrets is to use the gravy on the roast beef at the very end. And this is it. It's real simple. Great shelf life. It tastes good. It's, it's really good. There's really no preservatives in here if you read the list, which is great. There's no preservatives. Now, there is cornstarch in here, so they'd sweeten it up just a little bit. So you have to be moderate with it, but that's okay. So we'll just add a little gravy here. It's going to come out a little thick. Not too much. Just a little bit to go ahead and make it nice. That's about it. And then we're going to put it back in the microwave. So, both of these meals are going back in for two and a half minutes. And they will come out absolutely great. Oh, we got to get the butter. And we got to get the seasoning. So, butter, and then the seasoning. Here we go. This is the seasoning I like to use is the blend. Quick, it's easy, and when it's all about efficiency, this is what you want. Okay. And let's get it back in the microwave. See in a couple minutes when it's all done. Okay, we got about a minute left to wait, and I'm gonna instruct you on what goes with this gourmet meal that I pre-prepped. Very simply, RP Thor doesn't always drink sugar-free Red Bull. Oh no, 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 no. This, my friends, this is a quarter. You're gonna love this. This is a quarter of a cup of pineapple juice with sparkling water and a handful of blueberries in it. It is delicious. Mm. 
blueberries. And for that lovely lady, look at this. <sighs> Raspberries in that mix. Ah, oh, just gently squeezed. It's beautiful. It's low carbs and it tastes good. So that's pretty good. And if you're interested in food prepping and you're one of the ladies that is a fan of RP Thor and you're watching this, you just earned and learned secret girl game that will score you the highest value man you could score. That's right. If you can cook and prep like this, do you know what value you offer beyond your womanhood? It's immeasurable and you'll get snapped up right away. Now let's show you the food. Out comes the filet. Oh boy, it's nice and hot too. Ooh, look at this. Oh, look at this. Look at this. It is ready to go. Look at this. Cooked medium. It's juicy as can be. Look at that. Now you can do a whole lot more than this. I've done it with king crab, shrimp, all kinds of stuff. Chicken. The sky's the limit when you're making this stuff. I'm telling you. I've done beef noodles with yakisoba and fresh sirloin sliced really thin. It heats in minutes. And you're so far ahead nutritionally. Now let's take a look at the roast beef. Shall we? Alright, the roast beef. Here we go. Oh yeah. Let me go ahead and grab this. Hmm. Let me pull some of that roast beef up so you can see what's going on here. Oh, yeah, look at this. Got the spinach going. Sometimes I do cream spinach, and that's pretty good, too. So, this doesn't take that long. This is in the crock pot. Slice new potatoes, piece of cake, corn. You can slice it right off the cob. It's easy canned spinach or even fresh spinach you just boil it for a second throw it right in there it's way too easy i'm gonna go eat my meal and drink my gourmet drink until next time i'm rp thor Score.